Factsverse presents Police warn all women about this new crime. Gas stations today offer a lot more than they did years ago. You can stop at a gas station for gas, of course, but you can also get a cup of coffee, a hot breakfast, snacks, or soda. Many gas stations also sell personal care products, over-the-counter medication. Some even sell firewood. You can get just about anything you need at a gas station while you're filling up your car's tank. Unfortunately, gas stations do tend to often be in high-crime areas. Many gas stations are open all night long. During the late hours, the gas station attendant is often working alone. They're standing in front of a cash register full of money, and they control the gas pumps. These circumstances make gas stations the perfect target for criminals. Another reason gas stations tend to be targeted by criminals is their locations. Many gas stations are located near a highway, and that gives criminals a quick escape route after they've robbed the gas station. Police will often patrol gas stations because they are high-crime areas. Recently, police have been warning people of a new trend of dangerous crime that takes place at gas stations. Most crimes that take place at gas stations involve petty theft and robbery, but a new trend is much worse than that. It's a reason why authorities want to make sure that everybody knows what to watch out for. The crime is referred to as sliding. The targets are not gas stations or employees. The main marks are the gas station's customers, particularly women driving SUVs. When a woman pulls up to the pump to get her gas, the slider will creep over to the passenger side of the vehicle and slowly open the door. That gives them a chance to steal the woman's purse and other valuables without her ever seeing. Because most women do leave their purses on the passenger seat, it's the perfect opportunity for somebody to grab it. When most people pump gas, whether they're male or female, they're not looking in their vehicle. Most people will either stare at the pump to see how close they are to being finished pumping, or they'll look around, focusing on other customers at the gas station. And that gives the sliders the perfect opportunity to steal whatever they want from inside the vehicle. The police have chosen the term sliders or sliding for this crime because it's the way that the criminals approach the vehicle. They know that they need to stay out of sight and close to the ground if they're going to be able to pull off this crime successfully. The crime isn't just something that occurs in rural areas where criminals don't need to worry about there being too many cars around either, and it also doesn't only happen in big cities where there is plenty of opportunities. This crime wave it was first reported in the United Kingdom, and it didn't take long before it spread to the United States. Authorities in Miami, Florida, Houston, Texas, and Washington, D.C., they have all reported a massive spike in this kind of crime. Plenty of reports have been filed. A Dallas, Texas gas station owner spoke to the news about this new trend. He says the crime takes place in less than 15 seconds, and the criminals are really good at what they're doing. At his gas station alone, he has had six female customers report being targets of these crimes. When the thieves get their hands on the purse, they'll often take the credit cards and cash. One woman reported that after falling victim to sliding, $600 was charged on her credit card within 20 minutes. The thieves use those cards before the victim has a chance to cancel their credit cards. According to Jim Woods, a police officer in Houston, Texas, the sliders aren't violent toward their victims. They slide into the vehicles undetected because they want to steal the personal property without any confrontation. The best way to avoid being a victim of this crime is to keep your purse and any personal belongings of any worth on your driver's seat while you're pumping gas. Also, pay close attention to your surroundings. Check the side mirror on your passenger side often. That'll help you see if anybody is sliding up on your side of the vehicle. You could also take your keys out of the ignition and lock your doors while you're pumping your gas. That's always a good idea. That'll keep the thieves from getting into your vehicle at all. There are cameras all around the gas station, and the attendant can see the monitors. But if they're busy, and they usually are, they won't have time to watch the monitors constantly to see what's happening to your vehicle. It's up to you to protect yourself and your personal belongings. Staying vigilant and alert that's the best way to keep from being a victim of this crime. Help us spread the word about this horrible crime by clicking that like button and sharing this video with friends and family. And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos.